So understanding how changes in pressure and volume affect an equilibrium using Le Chatelier's principle is a little bit trickier because we need to get some information from our bounced reaction. So I'm going to talk about changes in volume and pressure together because they're kind of like saying the same thing. So when a volume of my reaction is reduced, by that I'm making the reaction container smaller, in doing that I'm actually increasing the pressure. So if the volume is reduced and the pressure is increased, the reaction is going to shift in the direction that produces the fewest number of moles of gas. So we need to look at the reaction. But this makes sense. If I reduce the volume, I'm going to want to make my reaction smaller. I do that by reducing the number of moles of gas. Or if I increase the pressure, I want to reduce the pressure caused by the reaction. The way I do that is by also reducing the number of moles of gas. The exact opposite is true, that if the volume is increased or the pressure is decreased, the reaction is going to want to compensate for that. It's going to want to fill up the volume. It's going to want to make more pressure. And it does that by shifting to the side that produces enough, the, the most number of moles of gas. So what do we mean by the number of moles of gas? So what we do is we get the bounce reaction, and we only consider species that have the subscript G. So we don't really look at things that have the subscript S or L. And then what we do is we add up the stoichiometric coefficients on each side. So here we have an applied 1. Here we have a 3. So on the left-hand side of the reaction, we have 4 moles of gaseous species. On the right-hand side, we have 2 moles of gaseous species. So there is a difference between the number of moles of gas on either side. So then I ask the question, what will happen if I was to take this reaction and say it's at equilibrium and then I dis decrease the volume or increase the pressure? It's kind of saying the same thing. Le Chatelier's principle says that the side of the reaction with the least number of moles of gas is going to be favored. So we're decreasing the volume. We want to make our reaction smaller. So we've already decided that the left-hand side has four. The right-hand side has two. So the right-hand side has the fewest number of moles of gaseous species. So if we decrease the volume or we increase the pressure, the reaction is going to shift to the right. So the exact opposite is true. If I increase the volume or decrease the pressure, then we're going to go to the side with the most moles of gaseous species. So in this case, it is to the left. So just remember, when we start asking questions about volumes and gases using Le Chatelier's principle, you need to go to the reaction. And then remember, we're only looking at species that have the subscript G.